you were swinging the bat so well down in Florida. Were you concerned at all about being able to, to carry that over after the long layoff and then having a, a short summer camp? Uh, no, not really. Um, I understand the, the the body of work that I did in the, in the off time kind of was very similar to what I did prior to spring training. Um, you know, obviously the long layoff of not seeing pitching consistently, that's that, that was the toughest part. And, you know, there was going to be some adjustments. Some guys had resources and saw pitching almost, you know, three, four times a week. Others didn't. Um, but you kind of got to do make do with what you have. John Mule, you're up next. Go ahead, John. How's it going, Rio? Um, how would you characterize the the quality of work that you guys have gotten in in the last basically two and a half weeks to get ready for the season? Yeah, I think I think we've crushed it, man. I, I think with uh, the work we've done has, um, you know, put us in a position to be ready for opening day, um, and I I really believe that we'll be ready to go from the get go. Rich Dubroff, you're up next. Go ahead, Rich. Rio, do you think this club is better than the one you played on last year? Absolutely. I, I, I think everybody's kind of gotten the confidence and has, you know, they're, they're ready to go. Um, the experience that everybody's kind of gained last year um, carried it into spring. I mean, we played really well in spring, um, and we've kind of really carried it over here. I mean, you guys have seen from day one, we were – Pitchers were ready, hitters were ready, everybody came ready to go, and um, that kind of just goes to show how excited we were to get going again. Joe Trezza, you're up next. Go ahead, Joe. Hey, Rio. Just watching your at-bats uh, lately, it looks like you're a little more open at the plate this year. It looks like you have a little more of a leg kick. Um, is, is that fair to say, and were those changes intentional, if so? Um, yeah, it's fair to say. It's definitely different from last year. Um, but I don't, I don't think I was intentionally trying to do it. It's just kind of a comfort thing that I felt that allowed me to be in a pos position more consistently. Um, and it has, and you know, the past couple of days I've, I've barreled the ball. I've had some good at bats. I mean, obviously we're facing a world series pitcher last year, um, in Strasburg yet last night. And, you know, we did pretty well against him. We had some really good at bats, um, as a team and, um, you know, we're just looking forward to carrying that, and uh, I am as well. Dan Conley, you're up next. Go ahead, Dan. Joe, do you want to get in there real quick? You got a follow-up? Just as a quick follow-up, if, if I could. Um, Rio, were those things that you and Don worked on last year, or were those things that you did over the winter and kind of came in to camp this year already doing? Uh, the positional thing was kind of a point of emphasis throughout the course of the season last year, definitely. Um, you know, obviously everything that I feel that got me into that position, I did. So, you know, whether it was to open my stance or get a little leg kick, um, you know, that, that's what I did. It's whatever I felt that was going to put me in the, the best position more consistently, like I said. And um, that was kind of just the emphasis on it, just how can I get in a better position. Go ahead, Dan. Hey, Rio. So your offense lost two, you know, two really big cogs in Jonathan VR and Trey Mancini coming in 2020. Um, but yourself and Santander and Nunez and Alberto and, and Hayes all took offensive steps last year. How much better can the offense be? And do you think it could be underrated given the fact that you guys seem to be kind of maturing a little bit together? I, I think we know what we, we can do. Um, you know, people, you know, kind of ride us as um, kind of just a, a, a team that's not going to be competitive, then, you know, that's their say. But we, we know what we possess in this clubhouse, and we know what we have on this team and what we can do as a team. And, you know, we were in a lot of ball games last year, man, and we were, we were really competitive. Um, it's just some teams were one pitch better than us, one hit, one play better than us, and that's kind of just the story of baseball. But we're kind of looking forward to – we're really looking forward to kind of going into the season um, full steam, man. Specifically offensively, how much of a step can those guys take, do you think, yourself included? Uh, I think I think we're – we got the confidence. I think a lot of us have the swagger that, you know, you know, baseball kind of talks about. Um, and I think we're ready to go. 
Paul Mancano, you're up next. Go ahead, Paul. Hey, Rio. Uh, just yesterday, obviously, uh, and a couple days ago were exhibition games, and but without fans so far, um, do you feel like you guys have been able to kind of get up energy-wise for these games, even though they're exhibition in front of no fans? And, and do you think that that's, that's a, a kind of energy that you guys will be able to carry once the real games start happening without fans? Uh, I think the inner squads that we had against each other were really crucial for us to kind of really adjust to that. Um, and I think we've done a really good job with that. Uh, you know, obviously it's a big talk in the clubhouse and how different it is without fans. But, you know, we got the, the crowd noise um, through the PA system and all that stuff taken care of. Uh, I don't know if all clubs are going to be doing it, but, you know, definitely hearing all that is kind of a lot more comforting, so to speak. Um, but you kind of, when you get in there, you kind of just, you know, you got a guy on the mound, you're trying to do a job and that's really kind of all you think about it. Everything else is kind of just, you know, you, you don't really pay attention to. Mark Viviano, you're up next. Go ahead, Viv. Hey, Rio. Um, as you guys come back from a four month layoff, there's a lot of talk about, you know, hitters, uh, getting their timing back, pitchers, getting their arms back up. Not much said about defense. You're a good glove guy. Is that come back easily, or is there a catch up there as well? Uh, nothing's nothing's easy, man. It's uh, you, you got to put the work in. Um, whether if you're working your hands or, or you're working your feet, you got to do something to kind of stay in uh, tip top shape and, and be ready to go whenever we uh, you know were to get that call during that layoff. So you know we did the best we can as a team to you know, do what we needed individually to put ourselves in the best position for the season to get going.